so hello again and welcome to another video um, today's topic is going to be about uh, modern linguistics so we are going to see uh, some of the principles of modern linguistics uh, so we can like detect the, 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 the differences between the traditional linguistics and the modern linguistics so one of the first principles of uh, modern linguistics is uh, structuralism and I'm sure you've heard uh, this term um, structuralism can be like uh, defined as uh, a theoretical approach to the analysis of language uh, that describes the, the ling linguistic uh, items in terms of structures okay um, we can say that like the basic claim of uh, structuralism uh, is that language is a structured system. Uh, Ferdinand de Saussure uh, is known as the father of structuralism. Uh, in 1916, uh, his uh, Cours de Linguistique Générale, uh, like uh, his book was written in French, he like uh, he presented the main ideas of structuralism in, in that book. Um, he like argued that uh, each element in language is defined by how it is related to other elements. Okay. And he also like said that uh, several principles of linguistic analysis, uh, which have become the tenets of modern linguistics. I mean, he stated some of uh, like uh, important principles uh, that, like uh, later on, they become the, the like the pillars of modern linguistics. And these principles, we are going like to see them uh, one by one and analyze them uh, one by one. So, the first uh, principle is the fact that linguistics uh, is descriptive not prescriptive uh, prescriptivism is used within traditional uh, linguistics uh, for the descriptivism uh, or descriptive linguistics uh, here it means that linguists describe the rules and facts of language exactly as they find them without making any judgments okay so here the linguists they like they do not try to uh, impose norms of correctness as those uh, prescriptive linguists do before uh, like they do not try to change the actual usage of language of the native speakers okay so like this idea uh, contrasts with the previous view of traditional grammar which was like very strongly prescriptive um, also like the principle of descriptiveness reflects the present day view about uh, language change uh, because like before uh, structuralism or before the saussure uh, it was held that linguistic change involves corruption and it should be like uh, stopped it is like forbidden Modern linguistics state that uh, uh, language change is something that is natural. It is a natural process, okay? And the task of a linguist is, as we said, to describe the way people speak and write, not to tell them how they ought to use language uh, as in prescriptive uh, linguistics. So this is the first uh, principle within structuralism. Uh, we are going to see other principles. We have uh, the priority is given to the spoken language. Well, uh, this is one of the main principles of modern linguistics, by the way, uh, because like spoken language is more basic than written language. And also for a long time, uh, only written language was studied. 
and uh, the, the judgments made about language on the whole were like based on only the results of these studies which means the studies about written language however uh, spoken language is uh, different from written texts uh, like we have great variations both in uh, vocabulary and grammar choices of course which the written language does not reflect so for a full understanding of language use we have to analyze both uh, spoken and written uh, language also we have synchronic and dichronic description of language they are considered like two basic principles that can be applied to the study of language we start with synchronic uh, linguistics the synchronic linguistics studies languages at a certain point of time at a single point of time it may be the present day situation or like any given period in the history of uh, of uh, the language development for dichronic linguistics uh, it can be defined as the study of languages from the viewpoint of their historical development so you see the difference between dichronic and synchronic linguistics one is the study of language at a certain point of time and one is the view of language uh, within its historical development uh, we move on uh, like we have another uh, principle which is all languages are equal which means that for a linguist all languages serve as the data for objective study okay which eliminates subjectivity like though it was common earlier to like call certain languages primitive which means that uh, there are some languages that are considered as we can say the best languages uh, this is what the term primitive means uh, it was determined that like within modern linguistics every existing natural language is a highly developed system and also its structure does not directly correlate with the stage of social development of that speech community okay the last uh, principle is the paradigmatic and the syntagmatic relations of linguistic units uh, a linguistic unit like enters into uh, relations of two different types or two different kinds which identify uh, like it in, in, in uh, within the language system first it enters into paradigmatic relations with all the other elements of the same level okay same level which can also be used in the same context like for example we have a, a cup of, of milk uh, the word cup uh, can be like replaced by a glass or a mug or a bottle okay so these elements that I've mentioned uh, can like stand in paradigmatic relationships which means that uh, and the, by, like they are from the same level as we see okay and they can replace the word cup uh, this is the paradigmatic relations for the syntagmatic relations it means that a linguistic unit enters into relations with the other elements again of the same level but which it occurs and which make its context for example in the the, the example like the, the I've stated before a cup of milk we have the word a uh, and cup and of and milk four words they uh, occur with each other and they make context there are 
syntagmatic relations okay so this is the first uh, we can say main principle of modern linguistics we have other uh, principles uh, we also have the functionalism okay so uh, functionalism as a movement uh, like uh, been like it has been seen as uh, a movement continuing the tradition of uh, Ferdinand de Saussure's structuralism it's like the extension of his work the main like claim of this approach is that language is a system of functionally related units we have the phonological grammatical semantic structures of a language are determined by the functions that they have to perform with the language uh, the main function of language so the first one is the communicative one which means that language is used by people to communicate also uh, uh, language has an expressive function which means that language is used to convey the speaker's feelings attitudes and beliefs uh, Malofsky uh, which he, like he like who's considered as one of the greatest pioneers within functionalism introduced the term the phatic function this is the third type of uh, functions uh, it claims that language is often used sometimes to maintain uh, social relations uh, like for example the greetings for example the comments about the weather when you say such a great weather today so these uh, these uh, like uh, elements are used to 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 like to uh, to keep the conversation going and to avoid any uh, communication breakdowns uh, so the functionalism like uh, has been introduced by the Prague school and also the Prague school has uh, emphasized the distinction between the phonetic and phonological analysis of sounds uh, and they have introduced two notions two uh, like important notions that we are dealing today which are phonemes and the distinction this the distinctive features sorry uh, this is the uh, the second uh, principle of of uh, modern linguistics. We have other principles uh, like generativism, and I am sure you have uh, like heard this uh, this term. Uh, this term is used to refer to the theory of language, which is developed by, of course, the one and only Noam Chomsky. Uh, his 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 language theory revolutionized linguistics in 1957 when his book syntactic structures was published in which like he draws a distinction between linguistic competence and linguistic performance so a speaker's linguistic competence is considered that part of his knowledge of the native language system uh, which enables him to make an infinite number of sentences on the other hand the the linguistic performance is a linguistic behavior which is determined by uh, the speaker's linguistic competence and various non-linguistic factors such as social conventions, uh, emotional attitudes, etc. Uh, Chomsky claims that the human language is innate, okay? Uh, like a child is born with a biological predisposition or biological mechanism to learn language, uh, which is the language acquisition device, of course, the LAT. Uh, this feature uh, discriminates humans and other living creatures okay and Chomsky like was amazed 
at how rapidly a little child acquires the language. On the whole, like he emphasized the role of language as basic means to investigate more and more about the human mind. So uh, these three uh, principles that I've mentioned uh, mark the modern linguistics. So that was the video of today. I hope I was clear enough to clarify the modern linguistics for you. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends and see you in other videos, inshallah. Peace.